Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Well, okay, I'm gonna make this clear this time so that people are not confused. <laughs> it is Sunday morning, but this is Saturday's vlog <laughs> that I fell asleep through. So, see, usually what happens is I film like Saturday's vlog really on Sunday early a.m. But to me, it's Saturday late night. Does that make sense? But I've been falling asleep early. And so I usually sleep for like an hour or two and then I get up and I vlog for like an hour and then I listen to a little bit of my audiobook and I go back to bed. That makes sense. But this is like the third night this week that I have like fallen asleep super early. My God, last night I fell asleep really, really early because we were... Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. I didn't... Um, put it in. I forgot to put it in my thing. Are you still there? Okay. Um, last night we... Well, yesterday we didn't... Today, whatever. I just don't want everybody confused. So, I'm going to start vlogging throughout the day so this doesn't happen again. Um, but the reality is I kind of forget to take my camera with me when I just leave throughout the day. Which is why I don't vlog throughout the day. And, like, you know, if I'm just sitting at the house, it's kind of boring sometimes. So, anyway, not that this isn't, but you know what I mean. Anyway, Saturday. What did I do? Uh, I got up. And, um, it is hot in here. And although it's a beautiful, beautiful morning outside. Oh. Alex got home. He went over to our friend's house, um, after his birthday night out. He got in super late. He got in at like 6.30 in the morning. Um, they were sending me FaceTimes or calling me on FaceTime and stuff like that. And I was like, finally, I was like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and, um, so anyway, so he got, so yesterday, so Saturday he slept the all day. Oh, no, 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 that's my audiobook. I'm just a mess this morning, all right? It's going to improve their oh, chances for parole. Come on. Um, I'm just a total mess I'm trying to pull it together here. I'm afraid if I go this way, the sun's going to be behind me so you won't be able to see me. Anyway, so he um, literally slept all day on Saturday. And um, I think got up at like... Well, he said he got up at like 11. And he was like wide awake. And he let the dogs out. And he posted a couple pictures on Instagram. And then he went back to bed. And... Um, got up at like 3.30. I don't remember what time I got up. Maybe like 1, 12. I slept in too. I was tired. Um, and I went and I ran a bunch of errands yesterday. I went and got coffee. There's like one bird up here sitting on the wire. That's hilarious. Like a bird on a wire. But it's just one little bird up here. <laughs> There's usually like a lot, you know. I wonder if he's like waiting for his friends. Anyway, um, it looks like he's asleep. I, uh, got up and went and got coffee. And then, um, went and ran some errands. There's this little place in here, um, called Bagel Fair. I want to see if it's still open. I'm not gonna go in and get anything to eat, but I just wanna see if it's still open. It's called Bagel Fair, and um, it's owned by like this little old couple. And um, it is usually like, well, it's 7.20 a.m., so I doubt anybody's in there right now. But it's usually packed on Sundays. And like one of their sons runs the counter, and then um, Whole Foods. And they, they just sit in the back in these chairs. This, like, old mom, like, sits in the back in these chairs, and it's so cute. Is it still here? Oh, it is. Bagels. Yep. 
Oh, it's open right now. She's not sitting back there, though. They're looking at me as I, like, drive by because there's, like, literally nobody else here. I should go in and get one of their bagels and just show you. They, like, take, like, they have the best bagels in town. And they, oh, there's a guy going in there right now. They take, um, like, a big bagel and then they, like, cut, like, this huge thing of, like, schmear, you know, like, uh, cream cheese or whatever. Like, a huge thing. And they, like, put it on there. And, uh, like, just, like, this block of it. It's so good. And they only take cash. Ooh. Even that bump made, even with the thing in here. <coughs> Alex was laughing at my bean bag for my camera the other day. And I go, don't laugh, it works. It's about the only thing that does. Which, by the way, since it is um, so early and also so late, this is going to be a really short vlog today. Um, so then I came back and... Um, Sarah had Uber, no, she had driven to our house last night, or she had driven to our house Friday night for Alex's birthday, and then Ubered home, and um, so her car was still at our house, so she came, she went to dinner with her mom, and then she came to pick up um, her car, so Alex talked to her for a little bit, and I went out there and said hi, and I filmed some videos, and... Yeah, that was kind of it. I read a little bit yesterday, and it was just kind of a low-key kind of day. It wasn't anything super special. It was actually kind of nice to hang around the house, you know? And, um, I mean, with Alex, because he's, you know, on weekends, he, he's going, going, going. And that was about it. And then he was, I think he said he ate his pizza. He had leftover pizza from the other night when we um, went out to eat. And he wanted, so he ate his pizza early on, and then he was like, I think, um, he was like, I want something, I want chicken fingers, and I want a waffle fries. And I was like, okay, well, are you wanting to go somewhere? Because I'm not really in the mood to go anywhere. He was like, well, I can just go to the grocery store and get something. So he did. And, uh, <sighs> then, um, we sat there and we watched Pose. I love that show. It's kind of sad this season, though. I mean, it's really about... Um, it's The fact that they're talking so specifically about it, I think is so great. Um, but it takes place in 1990, and I wish there was some kind of way that... there was like a follow-up to it like they could re reiterate that we, this could happen again this epidemic of AIDS you know like I think the younger generation thinks that it can't happen so Pose is a show about um like the underground ball system within the gay community in New York City and it takes place this year like this season is 1990 which is the year that I graduated from high school which is also the year that I came out and it reminds me so much of like when I came out and um, people that I was friends with and stuff like that. It reminds me so much of that. But um, you know, I've talked a lot about it on here. Like that was like the, the height of the AIDS crisis in our country. Like I mean, it was like the pinnacle of it, and then it started going down after that. And. Um, Like, by the time that you're watching the show, Sandra Bernhardt is a nurse on the show, and Billy Porter is, you know, the, one of the friends in the show, and he and her are talking in this one part, and she's like, how many funerals have you gone to or something, and he's like, 200 and something, and she's like, this is my 400th and 60, 462nd or something like that. So you kind of, you know, to put it in perspective, I mean, but think about that, like, over 200 people that you knew that passed away from AIDS. And it's like, I feel like in 2019, we've kind of forgotten, you know, how serious it was. And, um, so it's about like these different houses, like, um, like families within the ball system. And, um, so, the 
one that runs this House of Evangelista. If you've ever seen that documentary, Paris is Burning, it's very similar to that. And in fact, they put a quote up at the end of the movie or the end of the show yesterday, which was from Thursday, I guess, from Hector Extravaganza, who was like in Paris is Burning. He was like one of the people. He was like, I think he was the father of the House of Extravaganza. And um, so Blanca is the mother of the House of. Extravaganza, I think. Is it their house name or something? Anyway, it doesn't matter. But anyway. And, um... On this show, she has AIDS. And she is... Like, really concerned about her kids. And they're having, like, unprotected sex. And so she's telling them about the need to use condoms and things like that. It was really educational. I mean, it's really educational this season. But I... Th- I, I just hope the younger generation doesn't miss the fact that this could happen to them as well because I'm sure a lot of them are watching. I mean, it's a Ryan Murphy show. It's about drag queens and, you know, uh, people that identify all the way across from the, you know, rainbow. It's got tons of trans um, actresses in the show. And it's just fantastic. It's fan- I mean, it's as a, you know, like an ensemble cast, it's fantastic that they're doing it. The message is so fantastic that they're putting out. Um, I just hope that it's not missed in the younger generation that it can happen again. I mean, that's one of my biggest fears, you know, is that we're going to see this resurgence of, you know, HIV and AIDS epidemic in our country. I don't think people really remember what it was like. You know? The fear. Especially. Um, I mean, I can remember coming out and thinking to myself, I'm never going to have sex. Like, ever. And being okay with that, like, realization, you know? Like, I mean, and that's just not very realistic, and I'm not just talking about abstinence until you're married, I'm talking about never engaging in anything, you know, out of total fear, and so to some degree, it was like, you know, you're taking, I think it was a whole community taking their lives back, you know, getting rid of the fear and things like that, but at the same time, I don't know. The show is good. So we watched that, and then afterwards I said, what are you going to watch? And he goes, I don't know. I've got some episodes of Riverdale on Netflix, but everything else I'm caught up on. And I said, okay. And he goes, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to lay down for like an hour and a half. And this was early, you guys. This was at like 8 or 8.30. And so I set my alarm for like 10. He came upstairs at like 11, and I had snoozed my alarm. And he goes, can you just turn off that alarm? Because it's been going off like crazy. Oh, I have a little bit of coffee from yesterday. <laughs> from today, I mean. Um, he was like, can you just turn off that alarm, please? And I did. And I woke up at like 1-something in the morning. And um, I woke up at like 1-something in the morning and was like, I can sleep for like 15 more minutes. And then I'll go vlog for a short period of time. I don't know. Now I'm wondering if I'm not on this schedule, you know? But like I said, the problem is then, like, early afternoon, I'm really, really tired. Like, today, we'll go to brunch, and then when I come home, I want to nap. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. So don't be confused. This is a Saturday's vlog. <laughs> just, imagine it's sat- just imagine it's Saturday, and I'm filming it on Saturday. <coughs> I know the other day I confused everybody so horribly, so I apologize for that. There's a Polar Pop ad and it says, keeping you cool in traffic, 79 cents. See, that would make me want to go get a Polar Pop or a Fountain Pop. They even say pop. They even call it pop. read a little bit yesterday. I talked to Mel for the, on the phone for a long time. And 
Um, Tanya must be really busy this weekend because every time I talk to her, call her, she should answer. Um, what else did we do yesterday? I feel like there was something else we did. But there wasn't. This weekend I was telling Alex that this yesterday, or I was telling Alex this, that today, that this weekend seems so long. Like this just seems like a really, really long weekend because his birthday was Friday. So like when he came home on Thursday night, it was like, um, oh, it's your birthday, you know? And then Thursday night we went out to dinner with, excuse me, Melissa and Jason, Cheesecake Factory, well, it just kind of happened that we showed up, we were going there, and then they were there. And then we went over and showed Alex the video at his mom's house. So that was Thursday, but that really felt like Friday. And then Friday was his birthday birthday, and he, you know, we had the party and the dinner and everything like that, and um, that was Friday. And then Saturday, which is like this lazy day around the house, you know, and so it just, it seems like this weekend has gone on and on and on, which is fine with me. It's nice that a weekend seems long. Sometimes weekends always seem so short, don't they? I don't like that when the weekends go by really quick. <coughs> I had crazy dreams last night. It seems to me like since I've been falling asleep earlier and um why is that slow going? Since I've been falling asleep earlier and uh, have you ever had these Debella subs? I've never had these before. I wonder if they're any good. Oh, there's somebody in there right now. Mm, I wonder if they're eating a sub. Um Kidoba has a breakfast, because I see people in there all the time, eating their breakfast. But, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I don't, oh, I was talking about my nightmares. I've been having horrible nightmares, you guys, lately. Horrible ones. Oh my god, my nightmares last night were horrible. Is that Books A Million? Is it just like um, a Barnes & Noble or am I crazy? I've never been there. I need to go there sometime. It's ballpark season. Indy, Indy Indians games. I can't remember the last time that we went to a baseball game. Every year we usually go to this celebrity softball game and it's this fundraiser for this girl that, well, it's not a fundraiser, but it's like this um, thing for this girl that she died of cancer when she was really little. And um, so they do like a celebrity softball game in Indianapolis. And they um, have like Colts players, Pacer players, Colts cheerleaders, all of like the Miss Indiana America, the Miss Indiana USA. They have like everybody um, get out there and like play. And um, oh, newscasters, uh, weathermen, things like that. Like, I mean, lo like local celebrities, you know? And they have them like play on this um, softball game. And then they have all of these like, um, Kids from the Wish Kids Foundation, they all get to like get out there and run the court, run the, um, one second. This beanbag always is kind of like covering it up at the very end. They get to like play and like, you know, run, and then all the people act like they're like losing the ball and stuff. It's real funny, it's real cute. And everybody wears pink because that was this girl's favorite color was pink. Her mom's the one that like runs this whole thing. It's huge. It's like, um, I think it started off just for her and now it's like all of these families do it. Um, but we usually go to that every year 
because Alex um, knows the woman that like is in charge of it whose daughter passed away and um, but we haven't been to it like in a, did we go to it last year I can't remember I feel like we did go to it last year um, and then they release all of these pink balloons it's really pretty and um, they sing like anyway it doesn't matter but um, that's a really fun day and that's like a, like a good like fundraising thing too like all of the proceeds go to the Wish Foundation in Indiana you have to like if you're going to go to the ball field well the Indians games here in Indianapolis like the baseball games they're like super cheap I don't know if they're like that where you live but like if you go to a baseball game like they're, the tickets are cheap and it's like a fun night well we need to go with Carlos and Liliana and the kids because you know Carlos loves baseball he plays in like a league here still and, and then he's in another league that like he travels to like Miami well they just went to Puerto Rico for it um, and then when he was in Venezuela, he played in a traveling team. And, like, they would travel to all you know, different kinds of countries and stuff. He's really a good baseball player. Carlitos and Sebastian both, like, are in baseball programs. And I think Carlitos has his own private coach. And um, it was funny because I said something to Carlos the other day about Sebastian and I he just got his business plan. Why does it just all of a sudden just turn on? Um, I said, is he going to be an athlete like you and Carlitos? And he goes, no, I don't think so. And I go, why is he not athletic? Now, my nephew is three, okay, three and a half. And I go, is he not athletic? He goes, oh, dude, like, he's totally athletic. Like, yeah, like, you, he's going to take him, dude. He's totally naturally athletic. He's three and a half. Um, he said, he goes... But, uh, yeah, I just don't think he's going to be an athlete. I think he's going to be more of, like, a musician or an artist. And I was like, oh, okay. He was like, yeah, he's like, that's fine. He's like, because we only need one athlete in the family. He's like, we need to we need to have people from every different background in our family. <laughs> if Carlos couldn't be, like, a Major League Baseball player, he would be a DJ. Like, hands down. <laughs> like, he has this karaoke machine, and he thinks he's a DJ on, like... <laughs> playing songs from his phone which, and his computer. He has like this DJ program. Anyway, he's so funny. He's such a great dad. But, um, so yeah, so we need to take them out there and go for a baseball game because that's really fun. And then you can get pretzels and nachos. Of course, I always think about the food that's associated with it, right? And the big fountain pops, you know. It's real fun. People are, you know... <laughs> We did go, we actually, we did go to a baseball game with them out there. What game was that? Because the cousins were out there too with their kids. I feel like that was something special that we were out there for. Maybe they came to that and Alex got them tickets that time. I don't remember. No, because it was something else because we had friends that were at this thing too. I think it was just like a regular baseball game. Maybe it was 4th of July. I think we did it for 4th of July one time. Oh, it's going to stop. Hold on. Um, they also have, like, every time they have a game, they have fireworks and stuff. So it's like, I mean, I think the tickets are like 5 bucks to get in, if even that. They're super cheap, and I think kids are free. And you get fireworks and cheap food. So it's like a perfect evening, right? Yeah, we need to go do that. We haven't done that in forever. That'd be a fun week. That'd be a fun thing to do. It's weird when I drive around here like late at night and I see all this stuff and then I drive around here <coughs> in the day and I can see like what a lot of these offices are and stuff but they're sitting so far back that when I'm driving around at night I can't usually see them.
Yeah, I kind of want a bagel. I actually do have some cash too. I have twenty dollars in my wallet. But I'm like not that hungry for a bagel. I'm hungry, but I like I would get it for the purpose of showing it to you. But like that's about it. Like that's about as hungry as I am for the bagel. I guess I could just save it till later. so many friends of mine that live in this neighborhood over here. See, I like pass this by at night and it's just pitch black so there's no lights out there so I don't see the entrance sign to it. Like I know it's there. North Willow Farms but like I know it's there. It's been there forever since I was in high school. Be way before that. Um, but like I don't see it. So when I'm driving by I just see like trees and stuff at night, you know. It's weird to me that all these brunch places that are absolutely packed, like this hotcakes, it's actually absolutely packed in the afternoon. Like at 7.41, it's got one car, two cars out in front of it. You would think that it would be really, really, I should drive by Patashu and see how packed it is at this time in the morning. I bet it's packed. Well, it's Sunday, so people go to church and then they probably go to brunch after, don't you think? I feel like whenever I talk to people about going to church now, though, they go to, like, the craziest, um, what do you call it, um, services. Like, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we go to 8 o'clock on Saturday night, or we go to 5.30 or 6 on Saturday night. Which, I guess it doesn't matter when you go to church, right? But... <clears throat> wasn't church on Sunday because of the way that it was written into the Bible. Not church, but like the seventh day. Like I thought that's initially why we went to services on Sunday. I could be wrong, but um, so then it, it's crazy to me that I mean, it doesn't matter. People go to church whenever they want. Hell, I don't, it's not like I'm going to church so I shouldn't be judging anybody about it. But do your thing. I remember when I was in high school, I had two friends of mine <coughs> whose family was Catholic. Um, and so they had to go to Mass every week. Like, that was a requirement in their family. Begrudgingly, they went. And um, I remember, like, the church that they were involved in is still here in Indianapolis. And um, they would have to go. Like, they would have to pick a service. And they, it would be like... Four, six, eight, ten on Saturday night, and then like <laughs> six, eight, ten, twelve, two. I mean, they had like all of these services at it, and they always wanted to go like to the early one on Friday night and get it done with, so that they could enjoy the rest of their weekend or Saturday night. So I guess that's not necessarily a new thing, is it? If it was happening all the way back then, I guess it's not a new thing. Yesterday it rained. The day before it rained. I'm so tired of the I can't stand the rain. I'm tired of the rain. And um today it looks like it's gonna be nice outside. to go on a little vacation. I was looking at weekends away in July and um, it's kind of expensive. So Alex's friend is going to Miami Labor Day weekend and Alex is like, um, so I just happened to be, he was a set brunch when I showed up to meet them the other day. He was like, she's going to Miami for Labor Day week and I was like, oh, really? I was like, when are you going? And she's like, the first or the fifth. And he was like, so I just happen to be looking, and I know that you want to go and stay at the one hotel. And he was like, it's really, really cheap. It's like, it was like 700 a person or something like that for five days. And I was like, oh, really? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, except for that, we literally are getting back from Vegas, like, the day before. He was like, oh, I forgot all about that. 
I was like, you forgot all about the fact that we're going to Miami for our anniversary. He was like, I just totally forgot. I was like, we can't come back and then be here a day and then leave with the dogs. I'm not willing to do that. He was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot. So I was like looking at all these other weeks. I don't know why Labor Day week in Miami is so cheap. I have absolutely no clue, but it is. He's right. It's so cheap. And every other week is like triple the price at this hotel. But that one week is super cheap. I have no, I don't, so if you want to go stay at the one in Miami, the first through the fifth is the time to go because it is cheap. I have no idea why it's so cheap, but it is. Anyway. <sighs> My husband, because of his Instagram, which is like, this, this would prove to you that you don't have to have a huge number on Instagram to be kind of like, to get like influencer stuff or whatever. I never get things ever, like period. Like people never contact me. I shouldn't say never. I About a month and a half ago, somebody sent me a, a hat. They asked me if I was interested in this hat. And um, for every like item of clothing that they sell, they like plant a tree. And I was like, yeah, I believe in that. And I like the product, so I was like, sure. The hat doesn't really fit me that well, which is why I haven't taken a picture with it yet, but I know how I want to take the picture. I just have to have Alex take it because it's going to be from the back. But anyway, um, oh, they took that marsh down. They put an Aldi in there. I don't think I've ever been to an Aldi. Maybe once. I know people love it. Um, but Alex now is getting reached out to by, like, PR companies left and right wanting to send him products. Because, you know, he does, like, this outfit of the day, and he's always, he's very into his Instagram. He takes it very, very seriously. I feel like every time he's on his phone, I'm like, what are you doing? And he's, like, editing a picture for my Instagram, putting a picture up on my Instagram, picking pictures for my birthday to put up. I mean, it's constant. He is so obsessed with Instagram. He loves it, right? So he got contacted by this PR company, and they wanted him to, they were like, if we send you a watch... Will you put it, like, a, take a, send a picture of it? And he was like, yeah, because Alex likes watches, you know? Which is funny, because he didn't used to like watches, and now he does. <coughs> My dad gave us each a watch a couple years ago for Christmas. Like, they're very nice watches, and Alex loves it. It's like this leather band watch. I'm not really into leather bands, but on watches. But anyway, um, so... Alex got to, like, pick a watch that he wanted, and they sent him, like, this Citizen watch, and it was incredible. It's like, this really, really... He was so excited about it. He was like, look at this watch, this watch. It's like a blue bland, a band. It's beautiful. Anyway, so he's excited about that, that these companies are reaching out to him. He got something else. What did he get? I can't remember. I'll sit out on the porch and read for a little bit before if I even go back to bed. I don't even know that now I will. There's this brunch place right here and it's called Yoke. And it's supposed to be so good. Do you know what I kind of would like to do? If I got home, if Alex is up, he was up taking the dog to when I left. If I got home and he was still up, go to brunch now. Instead of waiting until like one or two in the afternoon. I have a feeling though that I'm going to drive by Patashu and it's going to be busy even at this time. Although maybe in the summer people, um, look at that beautiful Jeep, maybe in the summer people um, tend to like stay at home and make their own breakfasts. <laughs> I don't know, is that a thing? Making your own breakfast. I mean, <coughs> I feel like on the weekends, I mean during the week obviously, you know, like in the summer, um, I would have like cereal or whatever. I remember eating yogurt a lot as a kid. Um, but 
like on the weekends, my mom would always like make pancakes and stuff. My dad did too. We had, oh my God, we had a waffle maker when I was um, growing up as a kid, like in junior high and high school, I was always making waffles in like the waffle press. I loved it. Yeah, Roos Cafe is empty too. Does nobody get up this early on the weekends to go eat breakfast? Yeah, Roos Cafe, there's like four cars in front. Well, not even. There's probably Those are probably workers, probably two people. I'm going to drive by Patashu over here really quick and see how empty it is. We're doing kind of like investigations this morning in case you didn't know that. This Gigi's Cupcakes over here I heard was fantastic, but I've never had a cupcake from there. I gotta get back on my program. I've been off of it now for like too long. I know all of my, there is like not one car at Patashu. Are you kidding me? There is nobody there, and it is 7.52 in the morning. I mean, I'm telling you, like, on a weekday, it's packed through here. There is nobody there. Not one person. All the tables are out, outside. Yep, operation. Hours of operation. Oh, no, it said on the weekends. It said 8. It said 7 through the week. So, maybe that's because they're not open yet. That's funny, though, isn't it? I was gonna say that all my haters are probably like, uh, I told you I was, he was never gonna lose that weight and stay on program, just two weight. I've kept the weight off that I lost most of it. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't be my haters if they loved me, right? Did you ever see that movie? I'm sure you haven't, most of you. Because <laughs> it's so bad, but I love it. Night of the Comet. About when those sisters get up and they like... The Comet has like... Haley's Comet has come and it's like killed everybody. Like everybody just like evaporated. And they're like one of like 20 people left on the earth. And so, but they think they're the only ones left. And... um so they're like driving around and like the streets are literally like dead. Although it doesn't feel this way so much anymore now that there's a car at the intersection and a car right next to me. But uh, it's literally like the town is like dead everywhere they go. And they go to like this mall and they go shopping and they like try on all these clothes and stuff. And they're like the only ones there until they hear this guy over the, um, what do you call it? The, you know, the thing that you listen to over the thing. But you know. <laughs> Um, but that's what it kind of feels like today because there's like nobody out. You're like, really? Yeah, kind of really it does. I got on Amazon and bought $120 worth of crap. Well, it wasn't really crap. It was all stuff that I needed or all... I have this list that I keep, right, of things that I want... Did I talk about this on here? And that then, like, I put so much money aside each week, and then when that money is, like, so I'm, like, at my last week, right? And I've got some money that I can, like, buy some stuff with. So, then I have this list on there of things I want, which are sometimes things I need, but not necessarily. So, I went in, and I bought, like, I'm really into the tie-dye again. But I am not good at making tie-dye. I make, I make a mess of it. So, um, I got a long sleeve t-shirt and I got a hoodie. They were actually really cheap. They're beautiful colors. We'll see if they come that way. And then, I got a record player needle because I need a new one. And then I got a Crosley case for records because um, I have like all my mom's records and I want to start buying record albums. And because I have a record player that Alex got me years ago. So I got that. 
and um, it's like this wooden case um, that you put records in. It's very cool. And then what else did I get? Oh, why can't I remember? Oh, I got um, a coffee mug like this, a Starbucks one. But it was a Christmas edition from a couple years ago. And it has like two dents in the side here where you can hold it. And then at the very bottom it has a black little like emblazoned like gold button that says Starbucks on it. And the rest of it is just black. And it's for hot coffee. Um, instead of this for the iced coffee. So then I will have this Starbucks mug, my Lakai cu cup, and... Um, than that one for hot coffee. And then I don't have to, which I already have another thing that I got at like Walmart years ago. Um, then I don't have to use any kind of plastic anymore whatsoever. The water bottle, bottle thing is hard because what I need to start doing is when I leave the house, just always have it filled and always take it with me. And I probably, well I have like, Oh. I had my other one back there, my cheapy water bottle back there. But the problem is I leave the house and then I don't have um, that water bottle with me. And so then I want water and then I want to stop. Now I haven't allowed myself to stop and get a water from the water bottle, um, but that's been what's happening. I do have the cheap one back here, but then if it sits in the car, it stays warm. That Lakai bottle keeps water cold. So, I don't know. I need to, like, and we have tons of those swell bottles. We have, like, I have, like, two fake ones, and then the rest are, like, swell bottles, because Alex gets them, like, whenever he goes to, like, conferences and stuff for work, they always, like, give those swell bottles out. So, we literally have, like, ten of those swell bottles. They just don't hold a lot of water. So, unless you're at a place there's a water fountain, it's hard because, like, you have to keep on filling them up because they don't hold a lot of water. Um, but I probably need to just start taking one of those with me because they stay cold throughout the whole day, you know? Anyway. It is what it is. Well, all right, you guys, listen. This is going to be a shorter vlog today because I'm going to get off here and go back home and rest for a little bit. And I hope you guys are having a... You're watching this on Sunday. I hope you are having an amazing Sunday unless you have other plans. I hope you're eating an omelet or having cinnamon toast or a Slim Fast shake or a cup of hot coffee or whatever or tea. And I hope you're having an amazing Sunday relax, do something nice. It's my favorite day of the week. <coughs> and, um, these allergies this year. Oh my gosh. And, um, yeah. If, I, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.